English opening, four knights, kingside fianchetto line, four, d5 5 dot cx d5 nx d5 6 dot bg2 nb6 7 dot oob7 8 dot a3. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but black was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. In the English opening, White plays c4 to take control of the d5 square without sacrificing a central piece. This is a more patient opening. e5 controls the d4 and f4 squares, and allows the queen and dark squared bishop to develop. The light squared bishop is getting ready to be fianchetto on g2, where it will be positioned on the long diagonal. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. As a result, the bishop grows and gains flexibility on the long diagonal. This makes winning a pawn a possibility. This is an equal trade. Recaptures. This offers an equal trade of pieces. NB6 retreats the attacked knight to a square where it controls the d5 and c4 squares. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling kingside tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. The bishop will be better off as a result of this. This poses a threat to strike a knight. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. This activates a rook by developing it off of its starting square. This threatens to kick a knight. This offers to exchange pieces of equal value. It is the last book move. This overlooks a better way to develop a bishop off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This prevents the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a pawn. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. This prevents an assault on a pawn that may have been taken. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This moves the bishop to a better location, allowing it to control more squares. It is excellent. This overlooks an opportunity to develop a queen off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. This buys time by putting a rook in danger and getting it to flee. That's good. This blocks an attack on a vulnerable rook. This threatens to win a bishop. It is best. This move puts the bishop on a safer square. It is best. This misses an opportunity to develop a rook off its starting square. It is an inaccuracy. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. By growing a queen from its beginning square, this activates the queen. That's good. That's fine. It is good. That's a decent move. That's good. Very precise. It is best. This reveals an attack on a pawn. It is best. Recaptures. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This exchange is fair. That's good. Recaptures. This threatens to create an X-ray attack through two pieces. It is good. As a result, the adversary is unable to launch an X-ray strike through two components. It is ideal. When a rook retreats, this attack wins a tempo. That's good. This prevents an assault on a rook that might have been taken. It is ideal. This places a rook on the 7th rank, activating it and putting the other side's king under pressure. It is ideal. 
This prevents an attack on a queen who may have been taken prisoner. It is quite good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. This exchange is fair. That's good. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Backs off. It is ideal. This blows the chance to defend against an assault on a helpless pawn. It is incorrect. Although white had had the upper hand, the game is now almost even. It is incorrect. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This defends an underdefended pawn that is inadequately attack. That's good. Although white lost their edge, the game is still almost evenly matched. It is incorrect. Very precise. It is best. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. That's fine. It is good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. There were worse moves, but also something much better. It is an inaccuracy. This is not the right idea. It is an inaccuracy. Black's situation was worse, but now they are losing. It is incorrect. The knight can now control more squares as a result. It is quite good. This pins the other side's knight to the king, rendering it immobile. It is ideal. This is not the best. It is an inaccuracy. This move puts the queen on a safer square. It is best. This prevents an assault on a pawn that may have been taken. It is quite good. So, a knight is attached to the king. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. This threatens to kick a knight. It is best. Although white had had the upper hand, the game is now almost even. It is incorrect. This kicks an opposing knight. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. This wins a tempo by threatening a queen and forcing it to move away. This is the only good move. It is a great move. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. This is the only move that works. It is best. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. This is the start of the end game and black is equal. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. That was a great move and very hard to find. This is the only move that works. It is brilliant. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This is the only good move. It is best. A passed pawn is pushed by this. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. Placing a rook behind an opponent's passed pawn can inhibit the pawn's ability to promote. It is best. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. It is quite good. A very strong play. It is excellent. Very precise. It is best. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. It is best. Recaptures. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. White played the opening well, but black was on another level. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game.